Okay, we're going to begin a project here where we're going to make a fruit face. It's a very simple project. Now, Photoshop allows you to do simple things in many different ways. But what we're going to do today is just one way of creating a fruit face. So let's show you how we're going to begin. Here we're going to take, and we're going to use our selection tool. I'm going to use an oval shape selection tool, elliptical. And I'm going to feather the selection. So I'm going to come over to the top where it says feather. And I'm going to change that from zero picks. I'm going to make it 25. That's a nice, broad, feathery selection. I'm going to go over to the picture of the portrait. It's a picture of me. Nice big selection because when you do that, we're going to be not getting the whole face. It's going to be feathering away. So we're going to lose some of it. So we're going to now take our move tool, we're going to pick it up, and we're going to drop it on top of the picture of the strawberry. Now, once we're there, we no longer need this picture. We can shut it off. Don't save. Don't need to make any changes there. Now here, we're going to take and we're going to adjust this and rotate it. So we can go to edit, and we can hit the key command over here which is uh, command T free transform and we click that and you can rotate it by grabbing the outer edges uh, and creating this turn um, these handlebars that turn let's put it in place what I like to imagine is that I'm gonna use the access point of the strawberry to be the access point of the face so running up and down here we're gonna place it put the chin at the bottom I'm gonna rotate it so I'm running just like the axis of the strawberry, so it seems to make sense. And once I'm happy with the placement uh, or the scale, I can also increase it. Make sure you're hitting shift when you scale it up so you don't distort it. And we're going to put it in place, and now I'll double click, and it's in place. Now, we're almost there. It's such a simple project. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take an eraser. And we're going to make sure that our eraser is really soft. So uh, we're going to make it really soft. You want one of these erasers that have this kind of a fuzzy feel. That's a hard eraser. That's a soft eraser. So we're going to take it nice, a little bigger than that. And I want to take, and I want to erase away anything that uh, connects the picture to itself. What, uh, no, let me rephrase that. I want to... Take away anything that has shadows along the edge so I can then blend it together. Using a soft feathery eraser, I'm going to pull away. I'm going to pull away from the edges so I can get rid of uh, any shadows that will connect it, uh, that, will, that will kind of raise it up. I want to get rid of all shadows so the face starts to blend with its environment, with its background. And notice I'm not coming inward because if I come inward, I may go too far. I come from the edge and I pull out. From the edge and I pull out because it's a soft feathery one here. And if you did something you didn't like, don't forget you can always hit uh, command, uh, command Option Z and return some of the things that you did if you did too much or if, you're, if you are happy with it, you can do the same uh, command shift Z and then just kind of to where you think. And I think that's about right. I'll take this here, just pulling a little away. And what I want to do is I'm going to replace it again now that I've softened it. And I hit command T and I'm going to move it down just a little bit more. I think I like that. And I'm going to scale it again. Make sure you hit shift. I'm hitting shift and option so I grow from the center. Then I can move it up a little bit. I think I like the scale of that. And I'm just going to make sure on the outside, there's none of me lingering. Now I seem to kind of conform nicely to the shape of the strawberry. Now watch what we're going to do. We're going to go over to image, hue, and saturation. And what we want to do is we want to take and we want to try to match the colors, bring them together. I will tell you that we're deaf to get this bright red, we're going to need to up the saturation. So I'm going to up the saturation here. And skin is a peach color. Peach is orange, light orange. So here we're going to make this a little redder. We're going to just shift it over and see. If I go too far, I'll become purple. That's not good. 
But here we go, nice and red. That's close to that strawberry. Increase the saturation. Wow, that starts to work for me. Now, we can explore issues with light and dark. I don't want to get too light. I don't want to get too dark. But now with the red color, I can also see where I need to make changes. So let's look. This is a before and after. It really blends a whole lot better. We're going to hit OK. I'm going to take that eraser again, and I'm going to just pull off anything that might not uh, be working. Now, I'm going to also lower now the opacity on my eraser, about half. And I'm just going to, again, do the edges, but softer this time. I'm just trying to get some of that texture to blend, like those little pits. Let them kind of show into my face here. It mixes with the whiskers. And I think we have a strawberry face. That's how simple that can be. I hope you enjoy doing it.